Jamie, we know how much you love music and how many times you sang for us and to us. And so we want you to know that we carry you in our hearts and this tribute is for you. Jamie, this is your song. Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew when you bit off more than you could chew. But through it all, when there was doubt, you waited. about Jamie is his big beer hugs. Every time I'd see him, he'd give me a, just such a genuine, loving hug. Uh, I think two things. First of all, I never saw him any way but happy. Even in challenging circumstances, he was always happy. And I remember one time we were having a difficult meeting and Jamie said to me, hang in there, good things happen to good people. And that's something I've held on to and it's uh, a good mantra. He is the ultimate ram. The very first time I met Jamie Hasford was in a grad class through Dr. Scheibler at Michigan State University. The thing that I remember most is how Jamie came in in shorts, dark sights, and how he made people feel within the first three minutes that he had been your friend forever. I've only known Jamie Hasford for a short time compared to many. He communicated many messages, and as you know, many of them were very funny. Three of them stand out to me. Take advantage of opportunity. Shoulder the responsibility of others and brighten the room. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie, to me, was the king of the binders. He was a binder guy, the living binder, if you will. Jamie loved binders. He had a binder for this, he had a binder for that. In fact, I think he had a binder for his binders, probably. He was also the king binder in Rockford. What Jamie made sure that he did is he made sure that everyone fell a part of the Rockford community. He was so genuine, so loving, so caring. Jamie always went out of his way to shake your hand, that big old meat hook that you lost your own hand in. Um, I love you, Jamie, and I miss you. You are the best. Uh, well, the first thing I remember about Jamie about 18 or 19 years ago was that when you went in to shake that man's hand, you better hit your mark and you better go in deep because if you missed it, you're gonna end up with a sore hand. I also noticed that the man was um, of passion and intensity, and those were two languages that I knew I was gonna be able to speak for the rest of my career. I'm gonna miss him. My first memory of Jamie would be seventh grade giving me student of the month and that massive handshake, and it never changed throughout the years of working here at the high school. I will always remember when the Hosfords first came to Rockford when I was in third grade, instantly became best friends with Dan and Tom. And the things that stick out to me about Jamie are, this, are, are some of the small things. How he'd always sway back and forth, um, how he always had a smile on his face. And I will never forget, it may sound uh, little and simplistic, but I'll never forget, he taught me um, how delicious peanut butter on your pancakes were. And to this day, I still have peanut butter on my pancakes. But uh, Jamie, we, we, uh, we love you, we miss you, but we know you're in a better spot now. I'm really gonna miss um, seeing Jamie, his sense of humor. Um, the time and effort he spent helping me, working with me, teaching me, the time away from his family, um, that he was dedicated to Rockford Public Schools and to everybody around him. Um, such an amazing man. Um, I will definitely miss him, and I'm not going to lie. I walk into his office every day, and I think about him every day, and the impact he's had on all the kids, the staff, the community. Um, he was 
certainly a pleasure to work with. It's a sense of humor and a laugh that you simply can't replace, um, and something we'll always remember about Jamie. Thanks to the Hosford family for allowing us the privilege of knowing such a wonderful man. Uh, Jamie was always enthusiastic uh, about his job and about our jobs. Uh, he made it very easy to feel appreciated here at Rockford Public Schools. Um, always made me feel important, like I was doing a good job for our students and our community. And uh, his just overall enthusiasm was uh, infectious. When I think of Jamie, I will always remember his smile. He had this sincere, genuine smile, and when he greeted a person, he was very sincere about it. I'll also remember that his handshake was firm and, and compelling. He was a very compassionate man, but it was great. When he shook your hand, um, he, you knew that he cared about you. I'll also remember him singing about his wife at the um, back-to-school breakfasts, and I will remember him wearing shorts, no matter what the weather at a football game. I think one of the most fun times that I can remember is we I did summer's program and I had third grade class and we had done sidewalk chalk outside leading up into the administration building on the sidewalk. And one morning the kids are spying on the administrators as they're coming into work looking at the sidewalk chalk the kids had done. And they had done an hopscotch and it looked kind of like an odd shoots and ladder board. And um, anyway, Jamie comes up and he starts doing the hopscotch and he does it all the way to the end and the kids are all at the window and they're looking and laughing, watching him and all of a sudden he turns around and he bows at the end of it to the kids and they just ducked under the window screaming with delight and after that, um, for about the next couple of weeks they wanted to spy on the hopscotch man as he came in and out of the building. It was just fun. Above everything, Jamie valued family. The Rockford Public School staff was treated as an extension of his family. You can feel Jamie's presence in the everyday culture of Rockford Public Schools. We are a family because of Jamie. One of the first times I met Jamie, he made me feel like a lifelong friend. Uh, Jamie's magnetic personality and power to charm and inspire people has impacted my life in many, many positive ways. Jamie had the unique ability to flat out make things happen. I swear he could sell ice to an Eskimo for a profit. He probably learned that from his days at the junkyard. Jamie would always take time, make time, or find time for people. You know, a, a great trait that all of us need badly to become better at. Even with all the honors, all the awards, all the recognition that we've now read about, Jamie will always be one of the most humble persons that I've ever had an opportunity to get to know. Jamie was a giver, not a taker. It's amazing how many people he has impacted. I knew Jamie as a very compassionate man who cared deeply for his friends. His presence at my mother's funeral clear across the state and our granddaughter's funeral here in Rockford is one small testament of that. Jamie was a down-home type of guy who loved to live and laugh. He sometimes was even a little bit crazy. As I recall vividly, during the cold weather of a football season with the twins playing, uh, he was always wearing shorts and he had this goofy but warm ram hat that he would wear. And lastly, forever etched in my mind, are Jamie's smile and his dedication and love for his family along with the dedication to Rockford and the Grand Valley. May God's peace be with you, my friend. More than anything, when I think of Jamie, I think of someone who cared, who cared deeply, who cared deeply about me as a person, who cared deeply about my, me and my profession, and who cared 
a tremendous amount about me and the well-being of my family. The bottom line is the man cared and everyone knew it. 